now. Who you heard the song? Now. I don't know, but I, I realize that, you know, when you say and Guruji say, you know, you are the perceiver. I, I cannot understand anything. What what does it mean to perceive, you know? So I'm not in the teaching. I, I cannot understand or, uh, yeah, like this maybe, or I don't know how to start the inquiry, you know? Okay, I try so to... Let's go, wait, that... let's go really slowly so we'll look at this. Uh, you say you hear something like who is perceiving all of this for example and you say that you see that I don't understand this so this when you say I see that I don't understand this anymore that is not perceiving by who Huh? Huh? By I whom? Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> By whom is the important question? No? By whom is the important question? So, uh, so when you say that I I perceive that I don't understand any of this anymore, you see, uh, is this second-hand information? It's not p being perceived by you. I, I cannot understand. When you say it's not perceiving by you, when you yeah. say you, I take myself as this, uh, you know, mind. So ah, that is just a bad habit. That is the habit we are getting rid of. So don't don't take yourself to be anything. No? Don't take yourself to be anything. Now you are not lying. You are not making up this report that I see that I can no longer understand, isn't it? You see, so that seeing, that perceiving belongs to you. You see, now which you does this belong to? That is the question to ask. And if it is uh, some something so unknown, I don't know. Some of one, some somebody here must be seeing it. I don't know who. Then how would we call it? I see that I no longer understand. We are coming to a beautiful discovery. You see, this is very nice. So you say at one hand, I don't understand who this I is. Who is seeing all of this? I don't understand what you mean. You see? On the other hand, you call it I. You see? So this I actually is true. It is not understandable. And yet we call it I. That is the essence of my satsang pointing actually. You see, what you are saying is the essence of what I am saying. You see? But you are saying it is almost bad news, but I am saying it is a very good news. You see? <laughs> How is it that without any conceptual understanding of who this I is, we still call it I. It is so natural, you see. Because um, somewhere beyond your intellect, somewhere beyond your perception, you see, you recognize yourself as this I, which cannot be found anywhere in the world. cannot be found why I'm searching for it then if you're searching for it you're doing it wrong I just said that <laughs> yes. you see? if you're not searching for it also you're doing it wrong <laughs> you see? now these these two positions are in our mind you see but where you, your reality is not subject to these two positions you see? so what is happening is that you are trying to translate what is your clear intuitive insight and you are trying to see it from the reference point of intellect or perception but you are finding that it can't be done you see and that is appearing to you as some sort of lack of understanding you see but it is not a lack of understanding it is a beautiful understanding to to see that it cannot be understood in my mental realm and yet I am perceiving this. You see, this I 
I cannot find in the world, in any phenomena, and yet I am not confused that it is I that is perceiving this. Are we on the same page? Um, I can confirm that I, I yes. can perceive, but maybe um, I try to find myself as yeah. something. Yeah. So if you do something, then you would also come and go. If you some day one day you looked and looked and looked and you found ah here I am I am this something, you see then that something would be another perception. It would just come and go. It would not be of any use. But you are finding yourself as beyond something and nothing. You see? And the mind doesn't like that. It says, what are you? I am not understanding anything which is going on. You see? What, what are these masters saying? What are they going on about? You see? Who is the one that does not come and go? All of this. You see? <laughs> you see? But you are clear. It is you that is even perceiving this, this sort of report from the mind, isn't it? That's why I keep saying, who is seeing this hand? Who is seeing this hand? Or hearing this voice? It is you. You can't deny it. But you can't show me a shape of this you. You can't show me a size of this you. You can't show me any description of this you. May I say something? Of course. While you are speaking, I just realized that I, I forget now, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just realized that it is me. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> so you can allow the mind to be in a state of confusion, allow the mind to be in an absence of what it calls understanding, you see, and yet you are never lost to yourself. Um. Um, I was not expecting this. know there was too much expectation um, and now I see that even understanding to understand something is also just an expectation yes yeah. I mean nothing to understand yeah. and you know always in satsang people say that, that it's just so easy yeah. um, <laughs> I mean, it's not even easy. Yeah. It's just it is not in that realm. It's not in that playground at all. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> And it's not even uh, like this. Have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It can be anything. We don't have to use any phenomenal benchmark to say it is like this or it is like that because it could be anything or nothing, you see. <laughs> it, it is in a different realm, like I'm saying. So, uh, 
again, I want to come into self inquiry. Um, <laughs> Why? Now we see. <laughs> okay, the, the, the thing is just so clear, but. Um, no, it's imagine. good. It's very good. I'm just wondering what what position did you take to make that statement? Uh, no, I, I I just when I when I'm in day to day life, I I forget about the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, you know, thinking how to self inquire, how to self not for now, but generally. I don't know. It's good for now. <laughs> Can you direct me, please? I'm always here. I'm always here. But I don't want to give any stick to your mind to hold on to now. It'll come, it'll complain, it'll um, ask for all kinds of things and things like that just to retain some sort of position. It might come in a spiritual avatar, no? in a spiritual uh, mask, <laughs> saying, ah, now, yes, yes, now this is clear, but just for future guidance, because after satsang, then I need something, you see, who are we referring to ourselves again? <laughs> who has a future? The same one that is aware of all perception has a future? Yeah, just let it come and go. Nothing to hold on to. It's too cold, you can turn it off. No, no, no I'm saying if it's too cold, you can switch it off for a bit and switch it on, whatever you like. Unperceived self insight. No? Unperceived self insight. That is beautiful. I'm sure to the mind that's a nonsense term. No? How can you have insight without perception? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good.